So oftentimes customers will ask me, should they use a teleprompter or not use a teleprompter? So let's talk about the pros and cons of using one versus not using one. And we're gonna do it in the context of this style of video, which is kind of direct to camera video. So you've already established that this is the way you're gonna to talk to your audience and it's not gonna be documentary style where you're being interviewed with someone that's off camera. So the main benefit of a teleprompter is that number one, you can really dial in the duration. So if there's a really specific duration of time that you wanna get between, let's say you want it to be 90 seconds or between 60 to 90 seconds, a teleprompter is gonna help you with that way more because you'll know the exact words, language, and you can test it out and time it so it's more ideal to that duration you want. The second reason that's really great is that you really get all the information that you want in there. Oftentimes when you're just talking off the cuff, you're gonna forget something. You're gonna say, oh, I forgot that and so on. So two big advantages of teleprompter is that duration, you can get that really dialed in. Two, language, you can hit all the points you want and stuff of that nature. The third major benefit is you can get everyone to sign off on it. So if you're a larger company and you really have to have everything approved by specific departments, having a teleprompter, having a full script that everyone can read and approve is gonna be more effective than just talking off the cuff. Now. The other option is just doing what I'm doing right here, which is just talking off the cuff. So there's advantages to that and there's also disadvantages to it. So the advantage of it is that it comes more natural. It kind of flows out a lot easier. I often say people that talk on teleprompter have a teleprompter voice. And if you've watched videos with me on teleprompter, you'll notice I have a teleprompter voice. So people that don't know it or haven't practiced it, typically it's a little more challenging to do. Um, the opposite part of it, the disadvantage of doing this off the cuff thing is that it's not perfect, right? So there's ums, there's ahs, there's a couple flubs on words. I've probably done it a couple times in this video. If you've seen other videos, it's happened plenty of other times as well. So that can happen. And also on the flip side of it is that it's a lot longer duration typically. Unless you've really practiced it and got it harnessed in, you really can't get it as dialed in as a teleprompter. So for instance, this video is taking a lot longer than I wanted because it's not scripted, right? If it was scripted, it would have been done a minute ago because I know exactly what I'm going to say. But it comes off in a more natural way and it allows you to more ideally connect with your audience. And sometimes those imperfections are, are just fine based on your audience. So those are the big pros and cons to the teleprompter and not versus teleprompter. So teleprompter, let's just review it one more time. So you can get it really dialed in with your timing, you can really get it dialed in with your language. However, it's gonna be a little bit more of a teleprompter -y voice more often than not. Now, speaking directly to the camera off the cup is great because you're kind of relaxed and however, you're not gonna be perfect <laughs> just like I just was and it's probably gonna be a little bit longer more often than not than you want it to be. So just kind of evaluate what's gonna be ideal for you based on the type of video you're creating and your audience.